brand new year and with it comes a brand new stop motion racing series. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to Indianapolis Motor Speedway, site of race number one of the all new AMC Theaters IndyCar series. Today we're here for the Key Club Grand Prix of Indianapolis to kick off not just the season, but a whole new stop motion racing series here on YouTube. And we can't wait to get going, we are only minutes away from what promises to be one exciting event. How's it going you guys? I am so happy that you were able to join us today for this first ever race for the AMC Theaters IndyCar Series. My name is Sebastian Cortez and I will be your TV commentator throughout the entire season, carrying you from right here, light time to Indianapolis, all the way to the Twin Checkers at Homestead Miami Speedway at season's end. Now this would normally be the part where I would talk about what happened in the previous race just to give you a quick little recap going into today's event, but there was no previous race. As you probably already know, this race is kicking off not just a season, but a whole new series on YouTube as well. So instead, I'll just give you a little bit of insight of what happened, I guess, the last time we were out on track, which means preseason testing. And if preseason testing is anything short of what's coming up, that means we are in for one incredible race today and an incredible season as a whole. Preseason recaps are available online at our website, amcindycars.weebly.com. There's a link in the description down below, so you can check those out after the race. For now though, we have a big event to get to, and that is, yes, the moment we've all been waiting for. The beginning of the race. But we can't start any race at all without the big words. So, let's go trackside to get the command to officially kick off not just this race, but this series. Drivers, start your engines! I'm rocking. And with the engines fired up, let's take a look at today's starting grid. For the first time in stop motion history, a female will lead the field to green. That's Delight Martinez, joined by Brian Lopez in the front row. Row number two, we see Tristan Andretti, joined by Luis Paredes, who quickly switched to Andretti before this race. Row number three is car number three, Bree Lee, joined by Fernanda Cordero, who starts right ahead of her teammate, Kevin Rollins, by the way, a hometowner, joined by Ayrton Kotsky in row number four, and in row number five, to round up the top ten, Alexander Stigl and Drew Gray. In row number six is Micah Damon and Anakin Justin, right, starting right in front of Chase Smith and the first McLaren, Darlene Mejia. The other McLaren is starting right behind her, that's Lizzie Salem in the 5, joined by Sergio Morales in the 12. Right behind them will be Jared Kaler and Etienne Lamb. Following behind them will be Jimmy Spock, the man from Wales, and John Whitaker, one of the biggest names in stop motion, with another big name in stop motion right behind them, Joe Donahue, who will try to make his way from the back to the front throughout today's event, which will be a 7 lap event, so it'll be interesting to see how these drivers will take advantage of a pretty short but blazing fast event here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway Road Course. And with everything said and done, the drivers are starting to take their position on the grid. It's almost time to go racing, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on to your hats, buckle up, it's about to get real. And it is on for Indianapolis. All right, just kidding. No, it is not. We have a big crash in the back. Looks like Coatsy got flipped over. That's not a very pleasant sight to see. So we'll have to check up on him to make sure he's okay. And it looks like Micah Damon was on top of Drew Grace. Not a very pleasant sight to see back here either. So let's take a look at the instant replay and see what happened. As you can see, looks like Coatsy just got in the way of Graves and he had nowhere to go. And then Micah Damon was just a sitting duck there. So... Some of the drivers, looks like Mejia, Justin, and Smith were able to get out of it. So they're heading into the pits to see if they can get any repairs. And the rest of the field are just going behind the pace car. Speaking of that pace car, on the beginning of lap number three, it goes back in. We are under green for real this time in Indianapolis. And Delight Martinez with a big jump on that restart. Tristan Andretti is taking second place from Luis Paredes. A little bit of contact there, but everything so far seems to be clean and okay. Oh, a little contact there, Paredes, but somehow Andretti Smith seems to save it while Cordero's making some moves back there. Climbing up to fourth place, taking it from Lee and I believe Lopez. Meanwhile, further down the grid, and we have a big pack coming in here in this pack. We have Rollins, Morales, Salem, Stiggle is spinning. Uh, it looks like he's okay, but he's going to have to go back to the tail end of the field. 
as Chase Smith looks like he's heading out of the pit lane with Martinez right behind. Here comes the rest of the pack. It is packed, very, very packed. How many times have I said packed there? I don't know. Take a shot for as many times as I did. And here comes the field. Back around. Andretti is tumbling like a rock. Who knows why that is? Oh, and we have Brian Lopez spinning. Brian Lopez is spinning on the back stretch. Caution is out. And it looks like that is debris, if I'm not wrong, from Tristan Andretti. So what happened there? Let's take a look at the replay. It looks like... Oh, he got in the way of Cordero, and Cordero had nowhere to go. And the pressure must have been sent up to the rear wing, which flopped. And it got right underneath Brian Lopez's car. So, no wonder Andretti was tumbling so quickly. He had no downforce, and then Brian Lopez was getting the worst of it just because his car became really uncontrollable with a huge piece of debris underneath. So, uh, the pace card leads to Light Martinez and the rest of the pack around the track. It looks like Tristan Andretti and Brian Lopez will be heading into the pits to see if one, if not both of those cars can get any repairs. I feel like Tristan Andretti might be able to head out into the track again while a few laps down, but he'll be able to get out with only a rear wing left to fix. Not so sure about Lopez, though. That car took some serious damage in the underbody and the aerodynamics. They're not very good without it. Meanwhile, we're also getting reports that Darlene Mejia actually stalled her car in the pits on her way out from the track after that first lap incident where her car was able to get repaired. Not so much the case for Anakin and Justin, who looks like both of them will have to back out of the race. Tough break for them, but they'll be turning their focus of attention into the Indy 500 in a couple weeks' time, and let's hope that they fare better there. And just as we are about to go into the restart of the race with only about two laps remaining, looks like Tristan Andretti was able to get his car fixed. The rear wing is back up on the car. Well, a new one anyway. As for Brian Lopez, well, unfortunately for him, he joins Justin, Mejia, Kochi, and Graves as, oh, and Mike Damon, as the cars that are out of this race with too much damage. Unfixable, unfortunately. So those guys will not be finishing this race. They will instead turn their attention to the Indy 500 in a couple weeks' time. Coming down to the restart for the final time at the Key Club Grand Prix, Breely gets a huge jump right there out of Speedway Turn 1. Looks like she's going to take the lead away from Delight right at the very last lap of this race. Here we are on board with the 15. Now we're on board with the 3 for the last time down the back stretch, down to Speedway Turn 1. One last time, Martinez takes the lead. Who is it going to be down to the finish line? A four-wide finish. Delight Martinez gets the victory. Incredible job from her in that fantastic four-wide finish. Who could have seen that coming at the beginning of the race? Previous years, it will, this was not even thinkable of. But here we are seeing a four-wide finish, a photo finish for that matter. Very close. At the end of the day, though, a dominant performance and a well-deserved first-ever female victory in stop-motion racing for Delight Martinez in the number 15 Honda for Ray Hall, Letterman, Lanigan Racing, who have not won a race in years. So this is definitely worth the celebration. Luis Paredes in the number 28 DHL Honda takes second place. Really just misses out on that victory, but comes home third. What an incredible job from them, for sure. Fourth and fifth, Lizzie Salem and Sergio Morales. Kevin Rollins come home sixth in his home race. And here you see the rest of the pack as well. Let's take a look at the race results. So Delight Martinez rewrites the stop motion history books, becoming the first female to ever win a stop motion race, followed by Luis Paredes and Bree Lee who will complete the podium. Felicia Salem and Sergio Morales will round out the top five. Kevin Rollins in his home race will come home sixth. Fernando Cordero seventh, Joe Donahue eighth, Jared Kaler in ninth, and E.T. and Lamb will round out the top ten. And with that note, we sign off for now from Indianapolis. We will not be done here though. We're actually coming back in a couple weeks' time, but not to run on the road course, rather the Oval. Be here for round number two, the AMC Theaters Indianapolis 500, the greatest spectacle in racing. For now, thank you so much for watching. Congratulations to your podium. And we will see you guys back here in a couple weeks' time for the Indy 500. For now, take good care of yourself. Stay safe, stay healthy. We will see you in the next race.